Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on read code regarding the most frequently ordered products for each customer and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past one year, a number of times, right? Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with two different columns, customer ID and name. And these are the data types. Customer ID is the primary key of this table and it contains information about the customers. We are also given a second table called orders with four different columns, order ID, order date, customer ID, product ID, and these are the data types. Order ID is the primary key for this table. Table contains information about the orders made by customer ID and no customer will order the same product more than once in a single day. Okay. And we are also given a third table called products with three different columns, product ID, product name, and price. And, we, and these are the data types. And product ID is the primary key for this table and it contains information about the products. So you see, just by looking at this and reading the question up till here, your data is segregated into three different tables, right? So the first thing that should come into your mind is like, if you can, you need to do join here, like whatever kind of join, but you need to do a join here, right? Okay, so let's read further. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the most frequently ordered products for each customer. The result table should have three different columns, product ID, product name for each customer ID who ordered at least one order. Now, if you just read this line, you see, we need to have product ID, product name and customer ID, right? Here in this table, customer's table, you have customer ID and customer name. So it seems that there is no use of this table, right? Because you have customer ID here, product ID here, product name is in the third column, in the third table, product name, right? So it seems like there is no use of this table, right? Okay, so let's go, go through the example, right? The order of the result doesn't matter. So again, customer's table with customer ID and name, order's table, like different order IDs, different dates, who ordered it and what product was ordered, and then more information regarding like what these signify, right? So product ID one is keyboard, the price was 120, right? So what we need to return is the most frequently ordered, right? So if we let's look at it, right? So for customer ID one, so customer ID one, we have one, two, three, and four rows. Right. So let me just, you know, copy this. Uh, let's see what happens. Right. So for customer ID and product ID. Right. So for customer ID one. Right. So we have four different columns and uh, which all products the person ordered. So one, two, two, two. Right. So the products ordered were one and then product ID two, right? And how many of them he or she ordered? So ordered, right? So how many ordered? So here it would be uh, one, one is ones, right? Because one, two, one, two, one, two. So this product was ordered by customer ID one once, and this product was ordered thrice, right? So what is the most frequent for customer ID one? It's this one, right? So, uh, so this should be in your output for customer ID one. So customer ID one, product ID two, and what is the name of the product? Two is mouse. So for one, it should be one, two, mouse. For two, let's see, right? Because it is important. For two, customer ID two, we have how many? One, two, and three rows, right? So two, two, two. And then product IDs, which all product IDs? So two, one, and three so three different products right so two one and three and how many times so once one time two one time one and one time three so basically all three were ordered same number of times right so in this case what should happen all these three should be in your output right because there is no way to know which one was ordered maximum because everything was ordered the same time, right? Uh, same amount. So for customer ID two, there should be, you know, two, one, three, and their names should be mouse, 
keyboard and screen and all ordered once right so if you see for customer id 2 we have three rows in the output and we suggest keyboard mouse screen right so this is what we need to do okay so how we can you know go about it so the first thing that we need to do is based on this orders table we need to make counts right so we need to count for each of the customer and how many times the different products were ordered right so this is the first thing okay so let's start developing this step by step so from this table called orders what do we need to do is for each customer how many times the different products were ordered so you group by the customer id and product id right so because you need to count for each of the customer with the, how many times different products were ordered and you do that then you return the customer id and the product id and how do you count all rows in a group you do count star right and we can alias this at like just for simplicity we can alias it as uh, number order right so how many times these different products were ordered okay so uh, now we have this right so basically after uh, you know so this this query will be giving us this right so here the name of the column would be num ordered and this is what we will be getting okay now the second step is once we identified okay for different customers how many times each of the products were ordered now we need to identify which one was the maximum order like what was the most frequent order right so what we can do is we can add a fourth column right and try to see for each of the customer what was the maximum value of the number ordered right because that would be the most frequent product so what we can do is let's store this value in a common table expression put it in parentheses then what we can do is we can write another common table expression as write parentheses and in parentheses what we do is so from the common table expression cte what we are doing is we need to return everything return all the columns and then we are making a fourth column right now what we need to do is we need to find out the maximum value right the maximum value of the number ordered for each customer so again this is a great classic example of using what window functions right so now we need to do is window functions let me go step by step here right so window functions we write over clause right or basically we need to calculate the maximum order for each customer so what we do partition by what customer id then what you can do is you can order by this number order column in a decreasing manner right so order by num ordered in decreasing manner so what will happen so basically for customer id 2 so this will be a partition right for customer id 1 this is a partition for customer id 2 this is a partition right and then it will be ordered in decreasing order so this row comes below this right so this row comes below this this is order in decreasing order and for customer id 2 since all these are the same value so it will be it will remain same now what we can do is for after arranging for each of the customer ids in a decreasing order by number ordered we can take the first value right so we can if we take the first value because when we order any sequence in decreasing order the first value would be the maximum value right and that is here what it signifies most frequent so what you can do is you can use the window function called first value from which column number ordered right so num ordered column and you can you know in, in alias this entire thing as let's say we can alias as most frequent right so now what is ct2 right so let me just you know slide it here okay 
So it would be having a fourth column, right? It would be called most frequent and what will it have? So out of, so since the first value out of, after, you know, doing uh, order by in a decreasing order for this column, it would be three here, again, three here, right? Remember here, we are not using rows between and all because we need to, you know, order the entire thing for a particular customer and then, uh, you know, take the first value. So that's why when we do not give, you know, sliding windows or uh, frames, so all the rows in that particular partition will have same value, right? So three, three for this, for, uh, you know, since uh, after, you know, um, ordering by number order and decreasing order, the first value is again going to be one. So here one, one and one, right? So this is common table expression two. And like similarly for all others, but I'm just taking examples for two, right? Just to explain. So now once we have this, what we can do is it's very simple. So from this common table expressions, uh, we can get what, what all columns in the output. We can get customer ID. We can get product ID, right? The only thing that remains in the output is product name and product name belongs to products table. So now we can do a join. So from the common table expression to alias as C, like just to perform joins, you can left to join the products table alias as P on what is the common between CT2 and products table? The product ID, right? So CT2 has product ID, uh, products table has product ID, right? So C dot product ID equal to P dot product ID, right? So now once we have this, when we perform a join, then we can like, then we know like for each of the product IDs, what is the name of the product, right? Because from product table, we can do that. And then what we need to return is return the customer ID, customer ID belongs to common table expression two. So C, C dot customer ID product ID is both in common table expression two and products table. You can take from anywhere. And like I am taking from common table expression two, so C dot product ID, and the third column should be product name, right? So product name in product table, so P dot product name. But what is remaining in this? We are only to output the most frequently ordered products, right? So out of this, we are to only keep those rows where the number ordered is equal to the most frequent, right? So what will it do? It will remove all the rows like this, right? Because it was only ordered one, but there was another product which was ordered three times, right? So remove all this. In this case for two, since everything was ordered the same number of times, it, it will keep all three. And in output, you will get return, like you get all the three rows. Right? So you keep only those rows where number ordered is equal to most frequent and both of these columns belong to CT2, right? So where C dot num ordered is equal to C dot most frequent, right? And so yeah, like this should work. Uh, we are re returning all those. We don't need to alias the co column names into any specific name because like customer ID, product ID and product name is what the name of the columns are in different in the output. So yeah, uh, this should work. Let's go ahead and run this to see what happens. So yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this. Again, remember, this looks kind of, you know, medium difficulty question, but it is like, if you follow the structure very carefully, uh, it is very, you know, sequential uh, question where you can, you know, just apply your logic, go step by step, and you can easily get your output. Uh, again, we, in this, we didn't require this customer stable at all, 
right? Because your output didn't need the name, right? Uh, and customer ID is in the orders table, so it didn't matter. Also, by excluding customers table, we took care of this statement, right? Who ordered at least one order, right? So if you had done a you know left join of customers customers table with orders table, let's say, so since five won't be available in this, like if you see customer ID five is not present here, right? So it would be having null values, right? So you will have to exclude all those rows where there was null value. So that would be an extra step. And since your output does not require the name of the customer, so it does not matter. The better way would be if the, if the you know, output did require the name of the customer, instead of joining these tables in the, like, you know, in the beginning of your query, after doing this, right? So after you have you know, for each of the uh, customer ID, so like in the output for each of the customer ID, product ID and product name, when you have this, then you can join this, you know, this entire thing on, cust on the customer's table using customer ID. So only those which are in your output, you will be able to get the name, right? So that is a better way of doing it instead of, you know, uh, filtering out the null values, etc., etc. So yeah, let me know how, guys, if you found this video useful, uh, this is how we solve this like it's kind of easy um and yeah uh let me know if you find any other better solution or a more efficient solution to this problem and until then i will see you guys in the next video